Apple's free podcast app is a great deal for the price, but it lacks a lot of the features that are provided by other podcast apps. Today I'll show you Downcast, one of my favorite podcast apps. So just looking at the icon, we see we have a number and a circle telling us how many new podcasts we have. Now, these might not be downloaded all the way yet, but for a reasonable amount of time, they download in the background. So Apple, what they do to keep battery life not so bad as Android is, they limit the amount of time applications can run in the background. So occasionally you'll get an error that says the background time has run out and um, if you want to keep downloading, you can just open the app. So we'll go ahead and click on the app here. And this is the list of podcasts that you can watch right here. They're sorted out by unplayed and played or empty. And that's really convenient because you can just click on whatever podcast you want. And it doesn't matter which episode you click on. If you click on one, it'll make sure that if you listen to it for long enough, it'll play all of your episodes. So that's really convenient. And you can set all your settings to make sure that everything gets downloaded the way you want it to. So for every feed, you have individual options that will let you set how many new episodes to download, how long to keep old episodes for, and that sort of thing. And also, if you want to add a new podcast, you can search for podcasts, which is really convenient, or you can add one manually if you're not able to find it. There's also this list down here that gives you options to choose from. They'll help you find ones that you might be interested in. So if we go to technology here, it'll take a minute to load and you'll see the top rated podcasts for technology. Now on this tab right here, you'll see we can set up playlists. Now, I don't listen to a ton of podcasts, but I guess if you listen to a lot of podcasts, it'd be convenient to create a playlist. So like you can have a playlist when you're on your way to work or a playlist while you're shopping in the grocery store or something like that. Now here's the downloads tab. Now here you'll see all kinds of information about your downloads and you can really easily just pause them if you want to pause them for whatever reason and then you can quickly enable them really easily and you'll see how far it's downloaded it doesn't give you a time estimate of how much will be left but it does give you a percentage in the file size so you can make sure that you're not using all of your data up here on the more tab there is your settings your tools which is so you can export your feeds and stuff like that but also you get iCloud sync so if you have multiple iOS devices you'll be able to turn these on and you can sync all of your data between your iOS devices so they're always up to date. So if you wanted to refresh your feeds right now rather than on the schedule, you could just pull down like this like you can in many other iOS apps and it will go ahead and update for you. Now something I like about Downcast is that you can speed up your podcast even if it's a video podcast. Now most other podcast apps let you speed up audio podcasts but they don't let you speed up video. Now even Downcast will let you speed up video. So what you can do is down here you'll see your options and you can scroll through all kinds of options. So you can play at half speed, full speed, one and a quarter, one and a half, stuff like that, and all the way up to three. So you really can play it however fast you want depending on what podcast it is. And you can set it individually for each feed so it'll automatically play at the speed you want. Now another feature that I like about Downcast is that you can skip forward in a video. So if it's a long podcast and you don't want to see a certain part of it, you can just swipe like this and you can skip forward 30 seconds and I believe you can customize that setting. So it's really customizable and that's one of the reasons why I like Downcast. So that's just about it. Here's the two things that I like about Downcast the most. The first thing, the simplicity. You can just click on any podcast that you want to and then click on any episode and it'll make sure that you get caught up no matter what episode you click. So it'll play until all the episodes for that podcast are done. Second, you can speed up podcasts by clicking on this button here. You can play it as fast as you want or as slow as you want. If the people on the podcast talk too fast for you, you can put it on one half times. Or if they talk too slow, you can speed it up all the way up to three times. So I find that convenient. So this is Downcast. You can find it on the Apple App Store for $1.99. As for an Android version, well, I haven't seen one and I'm not sure if they're releasing one or not. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.